Now, one of your songs got picked up for use in a movie. Uh, I'm curious uh, if you could tell us about that movie and maybe your experience of having a song used uh, in a way that may have been different than you were thinking about originally. It's a movie called Dead Broke with Paul Sorvino. Um, uh, the, uh, the director was, was trying to find a song to run over the credits and, and um, I got forward to this Craigslist note. Of, of that, that was the way he was. That was one way he was looking for for a song. <laughs> Craigslist. So yeah, it okay. was forwarded to me as a Craigslist um, posting, and uh, I read the description of the type of song that he wanted, and I thought you know Black Box, you know, which is one of my tunes, and I was like, that's the one. I think that sounds exactly like what he sang. So I emailed it to him. He emailed me back, said it was his first choice so far, and he would keep me updated. Eventually, he got back and said I want to use the song, and then we did the whole you know contract okay. thing. And, but you know, you didn't think about credits in your head when you wrote the lyrics, right? Certainly no, didn't. See, see, <laughs> something different. Now, you're someone who speaks at least two languages, German and English, and you sing in English, I assume, to reach a, a broader audience. But I'm curious if there are times when you feel like you could better express something in another language and you feel sort of um, a, a, at crossroads in, in the production of it. You know, I've gotten so used to writing in English that it's actually harder for me to write in German now. Okay. I mean, and I, you know, I've been living in this in, in the U.S. now for 12 years. Yeah, since '97. Okay. So you know, I, 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 I even it takes me a couple of days to get back into German when I come home, even though I talk to my family, you know, regularly and on the phone or whatever. Yeah. But I, I mean, English was really the language that I wanted to write in because I listened to American music, you know, and British music growing up. So, and that's what one, that's what also drove me to, you know, to move here. And, um, you know, it was largely American and British music. So, when you grow up with that, listening to that music, and, and I didn't really respond to much German music, um, you know, very, some, but, but much less mm -hmm. than, than English. So, I, I wanted to write in English, and I was, I always loved the language, and I loved the way it rolled off the tongue rather than German, which has a much harsher, you know, sound not a bad thing. You know, there are some German writers that that write great lyrics. You know, and um, make it work very well with with songs. And um, so it's it's really it's a choice. Really, it was a choice for me. I've written a couple of songs in German, but mainly when I've been asked to do so for a specific reason or occasion, mm -hmm. and then you know, I I, I did that. You allude to poets, some English poets, I think, in some of your lyrics. For example, uh, Robert Frost's Road Less Traveled makes an appearance, uh, at least the title does, in one of your lyrics. But I also noticed that you don't do a lot of end rhyming. Um, you're not uh, doing little couplets and things like that, like you might have in some you know, other varieties of music. Does this arise out of an interest in sort of blank verse, or is it just a, a, it's a conscious choice you've made uh, to mostly not take that sort of route? Um, I, I don't think it's conscious. I, I, I mean, I, I don't, you know, I'm not someone that has read a lot of poetry, okay. you know. I mean, I read much more prose than I read poetry. Um, so f for me, it really, it, if anything, if, I, if I've listened to, you know, poetry, it's, it's those of song, th that of songwriters. Right, right. You know, so for me, there's a real strong connection with melody and, and rhyme, you know, and rhythm. Mm -hmm. So um, I, what I do like to do is sort of sneak in words that um, have more than one meaning. It's sort of like yeah. a little fascination of mine. <laughs> and uh, I, I sort of get a kick out of finding like a word that can mean more than one thing, which there are a lot of in the English language. Mm -hmm. In German, there are usually uh, more than one word for that particular, you know, it, it, if, if one word has um, three meanings in the English language, in German there are three words for it. So, you know, it, English has, you, you can have more fun with it, you know, okay. when it comes to that. All right. Um, this was just a little thing and maybe you had nothing to do with it, but I was curious so that after the copyright notice on your CD, there are the words, if you can afford it, please buy this album, it's worth it. I'm curious, did you have something to do with that, or is that something your, your publishing company put down? It was a really interesting moment, I thought, um, in copyright. So. Well, um, as you know, and as most people know, we live in a time where the music business has completely changed mm -hmm. and is sort of, it probably has hit bottom or is hitting bottom, you know, it, while we talk, while, you know, while we're right here. So, um, 
you know, I don't, I, I know that people download my music for free. You know, I know that they do that. You know, mm -hmm. it's, I see it on all kinds of different file sharing networks. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, as an independent artist, you know, I, I make a living doing this. So what I'm trying to encourage people to do is use some sort of honor system, you know, to support the arts because without money, we can't do this right. you know we still need money to make music and to make good records you know I'm, I'm in this for the long haul so uh, and I'm going along with the changes that are happening and I think that in the next five years probably by that time things will have reached like I think what will be a new model mm -hmm. for for the music business you know um, because it, it has to be a business you know for us to survive right. and to keep making records and um, so, so I put that on there specifically to remind people that, you know, um, music shouldn't always be free, you know. Okay. It's called Hold Me Down. Finally we're meeting face to face Know that I've been lost without you The lies are compromising this embrace But I still can't get to What lies in that you've placed before me My little arm isn't long enough My limbs are steady Running like the wind as fast as I can Unafraid to stumble Too young to understand My emotions Turn around, cause I think I'm falling. 